Hello and welcome to another purveyor of light Lightroom quick tip. Uh, today we've got a really quick one. A uh, person wrote in and asked a question that they were really hurting on, on hard disk space and they really at this point couldn't afford to, to keep buying larger hard drives and they just wanted to conserve space and how they could uh, you know reduce the impact of uh, Lightroom's catalog. And uh, so I says, okay, we can cover that. And uh, so I'm going to show you just that today. Now, a little bit of a cause here, okay, is Lightroom is a catalog system, right? Which means your pictures are separate, your previews are separate, and then the catalog development settings are separate. So you can remove one part of any of those three without affecting the actual images. Okay, so bear that in mind. So anything I'm going to teach you here is not going to uh, make you lose any images or data or anything else like that. Uh, but it will clear up space. Okay, so as we know, as our libraries grow, we're going to have uh, thousands upon thousands of images in our catalog. And in this sample catalog here, I have, uh, I go to catalog and then I go to all photographs and you see that I am with uh 40,000 images here okay so that takes a lot of space just for the images but then Lightroom on top of it generates a preview file for every single image as you input now the fact of the matter is once you've done your developments and things like this and some of these photos will sit on your hard drive for years and you'll never do anything with them because you've already either developed them or you're not going to. So you're wasting hard disk space. And the amount of hard disk space that are wasted by previews is enormous. All right. So if I come up to uh, Lightroom Classic on the menu here and then I hit Catalog Settings. You can see under File Handling, it's calculating. I have 22 gigabytes of preview files. That's a lot of space, especially if you're hurting on the hard drive side. Okay, so we can easily remove these previews, okay, from the hard disk. We will not hurt our photos at all. As a matter of fact, uh, if we remove them and we later decide that we want to work with an image, Adobe will just simply rebuild that preview for that image for you on the spot. Okay, so not to worry. This is relatively safe. So catalog settings, you can see right here how much space you're going to save by deleting your previews. All right. So right now I'm going to save 22 gigabytes. So if I was really hurting on hard disk space, this is the first place I would go. Okay. So now we know how much I'm going to save. How do we do save? Well, that's easy too. We come up to the catalog, hit all photos and we turn around and then select all photos, command or control A, all right, which highlights all the photos in the library. And then we go up to library, okay? And again, don't worry, I won't tell you anything that'll endanger your photos. Go to previews, all right, and then discard the previews, okay? So discard one to one previews. And now it says, discard the full size previews for 40,520 photos. But then it tells you right in the small print, this will delete the one to one previews from your cache. When the full size data is needed again, it will be retrieved and by reading the file and generated again. Okay. So, like I said, this is not going to hurt your photos, it's not going to hurt anything that you've done. It's just simply going to remove the preview files that are taking all that hard disk space. And then all you do is hit discard. And now you have saved uh, all that hard disk space by just hitting discard. Okay. Uh, and that's all there is to this. Uh, so like I said, it was going to be a quick one here. But like I said, sometimes, you know, money's tight. And uh, we don't have the money to keep buying larger and larger hard drives. Um, 
So this is a solution by deleting the previews, okay? And once you've done that, you'll have all that hard disk space. So hopefully this will help you. And uh, like everything else, I'm gonna add one thing. Always make sure you do a catalog backup before you start anything. And uh, I hope you have a great week. Take care, guys.